Although I focus on the Android emulator in most of these tutorials, Flame does work on other platforms. It does work on Windows desktop that I tested. It should work on Mac and Linux desktops. It also does work on the web. There was zero modification required to the code. Uh, I just did flutter run after I configured Windows desktop and the app worked. There's a separate video that I made that I'll link to in the description that will show you how to compile for Windows if that's what you want to, including the method to distribute the Windows executable, which you're going to need to bundle it with some libraries uh, that comes with Visual Studio, not Visual Studio Code. So if you're interested in that technique, I'll put a link to a separate video in the description here. Flutter and Flame will also work well in a web page. So with zero modification, you could run your same application in, the, uh, in, in a web browser. This one's using Chrome, although it does work in other browsers. You can also upload it to a website. Although the audio does work on the Android uh, emulator, it does not work with uh, Windows desktop or the web in my initial tests. This is the same application running on native Windows desktop. Uh, there's no sound and there is an error message that it's missing the audio player uh, plugin. I'm not sure if there's a solution. Uh, since I'm not targeting the Windows desktop, I'm not going to pursue this. However, I thought I would let you know that the audio portion at least is not working in my initial tests. Also, when I did try to run it on Flutter Web, uh, I did get an error message saying that the audio player's audio cache is not available for Flutter Web. So if you're targeting a web-based game with Flame or a desktop game, uh, it might take a bit more work. Uh, you might be better off targeting iOS and Android for the current time and then seeing how this thing develops. If you're targeting the web, there's other game frameworks that you can use, obviously. Uh, for example, Phaser. Based on this quick test, I haven't looked into that deeply, but based on a quick test, I would say that Flutter is excellent on Android mobile devices and also iOS. So for mobile game development, I think Flutter is a thumbs up. I believe it will mature, Flutter and Flame will both mature for Flutter web and Flutter desktop. But because there's not that much demand for it right now, it's still a bit premature. You could use some of the components uh, for the animation components and the movement components on Flutter Web and Flutter Desktop, it does work without modification. But I think for a full-blown game with interactive audio, you might have to put a bit more effort into it. So right now, it might be better to stick to mobile for Flutter and Flame. Please subscribe to this channel. We'll give you some updates on game development techniques with Flutter and Flame. And we'll have a lot of fun in the process. Thank you.